One of the main reasons people decide to use affirmations is because they know where they are right now. They're struggling with something. They, they know where they want to be. They want to be this particular person in a particular area and they're trying to find a way to close the gap between where they are right now and where they wanna be. And so if you're wanting to create more success, the power of affirmations can help you out with that. If you want to be more consistent, maybe you want to take more action. Maybe you are procrastinating in your business. Maybe you're procrastinating in starting a business or a new project. And so what I help people do is I help people shift their mindsets so that they can become that person instantaneously. Hi, my name is Gavin Speaks and I help people change their brains so they can grow their income and their impact. And I've been lucky enough to help people just like yourself go ahead and make six and seven figure incomes in their businesses. I've helped people overcome procrastination, resistance, the stuff that holds them back from following their dreams, following their projects, getting stuff done, getting up the career ladder and transforming their lives in many ways. And if you're someone that wants to change your life so you can grow your income and your impact, then go ahead and click the link in the description to find out how you can get my free training on how to change your brain so you can grow your income and your impact. So the main reason to use affirmations is to begin changing who you are to begin changing how you operate in the world. And when you can change how you operate in the world, you know it's gonna to lead to specific results in your life. And so one of the things that we need to acknowledge first when it comes to creating affirmations is we need to clearly know where we're at. Okay, what am I currently having a challenge with? And then where do I want to be? What character do I want to create? Who's the new person that I want to become? and then closing the gap between the two. So the first step to creating affirmations to get you from where you are to where you want to be is asking yourself, what's missing? Because you know, you, you gotta be here, right? You're here, you wanna be here. There's something in between stopping you from getting there, right? And so you ask yourself, okay, what's missing? So that you can identify the characteristic traits that you need to embody with inside your subconscious mind in, in your programming so that you can be that person automatically, be this person, this new 2.0 version of yourself automatically. So step number two is you wanna brainstorm the kind of character that you want to become in this particular area of your life. So you wanna just write down and sort of script this character out. Just like you're a producer or a writer for a film, you want to basically construct this character around this particular area of your life. And then once you've done that, you can clearly see this is who I need to become in order to achieve this specific outcome in my business, in my life, in my career, in my fitness, in my health, in my relationships. And once I become this person, then I'll be able to attract the right people, events and circumstances that lead to the result that I want and I can create the success that I want. And what I suggest that you do is you create the ultimate character in this particular area of your life. I would suggest making this a very, very empowering character that basically excels in this particular area. So if you have anxiety and you wanna have confidence in social situations, then think of the the best, 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 best version of yourself in terms of being social and being able to be communicative and you know being receptive and comprehending what people are saying and asking great questions and maybe perhaps looking people in the eye, maybe owning your energy and your frame and maybe uh, conf confrontation. Maybe you have to confront someone and tell them something that you, you was offended by or like you didn't like or whatever it is. And this is, this is the kind of character you want to create for it. You want it to be nice and clear. You want it to be that 2.0 version of yourself. You want it to be the ultimate version of yourself in this particular area of your life. So once you've created your character, then you want to go and create your affirmations, which is step number three. So step number three here is to create those affirmations and you're going to use the character that you created and you're sort of going to create a synopsis like bullet points. Your affirmations are gonna be bullet points to the character. You know what the character is, you know where you're going, you know who you're becoming. And so you create these list of affirmations. I suggest doing about 10 affirmations that kind of govern and cover the whole character that you've created for yourself. It's uh, confident when he's speaking or she's speaking. Uh, um, maybe your physiology is in a certain way. You have a certain physiology when you're speaking, communicating with people. Maybe you're more energetic or whatever it is, more enthusiastic. So you write out those affirmations, the list of affirmations, 
and you want to basically read them every day. Now, here's the trick with affirmations. The trick of affirmations and making them a part of your subconscious identity is to make it safe to your subconscious mind. So step number four here is you want to feel the emotion of safety, uh, comfort. You want to feel the emotion of um, sweetness, like a sweet, gentle, nice, like you're being babied in a way, you know? It's a warm, safe, soft, sweet energy. And so when you say your affirmations, whether that's in your head or out loud, right? You want to say it in a tone and in a way that's gentle and receptive. If you ever listen to a hypnosis, all hypnosis are in a calm and gentle voice. There's a reason for that. The subconscious mind is not threatened by a voice that's nice and calm, nice and relaxed, nice and gentle, right? When you're like, I am this, I am that. Like you are like putting your body in fight or flight. You're putting your body in a, you know, a heightened state uh, of like maybe panic or fear, whatever it is. And then you're trying to embed your affirmations into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is not going to be that receptive. So everyone's different. But what I do know is your subconscious mind is designed to protect you. It's designed to keep you safe, specifically the reptilian brain, your first brain. And so we have this system in our brain called the amygdala. It's like a small almond shape on both sides of your brain right here, around here. And it's, it's designed to cause for fear and put you into that fight or flight response and all of this stuff. And so if you let it know, hey, it's okay, don't worry, it's safe, it's, it's, it's sweet, you know, um, mothering, sweet, you know, feminine energy, you know, gentle, soft, and you say your affirmations in that tone, nice and relaxed to yourself and make yourself feel warm and like you're being comforted as you say these affirmations, now it's gonna penetrate into your subconscious mind. Now it's gonna reprogram who you are because your subconscious is not protecting you from I am rich, I am wealthy, I am happy, right? Does that make sense? So comment below some affirmations that you're gonna be implementing and if you're someone that would really like help in reprogramming your subconscious identity, you're someone that wants to break through in their business, you want to take your life to the next level, you want to take your career to the next level, and you want to create the mindset of a boss, you want to boss your life, and you want to take charge of your life, and really become that person that you know you truly can be, then send us a message on WhatsApp where you can find out how you can enroll in my Mindset for Bosses coaching program where we share with you literally how to reprogram yourself into a completely different person very, very rapidly. And if you're someone that needs to attract more business success, here's a powerful meditation that you could go ahead and listen to to reprogram your subconscious mind. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.